Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else. Uh, welcome to this special spring, spring has sprung episode of Blue Midwest Mysteries. I'm Mr. MPS2002, uh, here with, as always... It's Percy number six. What's up, bro? Oh, you know, just enjoying life. Definitely. Well, uh, you know, it's it's March right now when we're recording this, not to date this episode, but um, right now I'm on spring break from school. Percy number six would be on spring break, but there were alternating circumstances that are not allowing him to be. Mm-hmm. But we figured that we would have... You know, we figured that a lot of our viewers would probably be on spring break as well. So we figured that we could do this episode to devote it to talking about some of the best places on the island of Sodor to visit over the course of your spring break. And, you know, really make the most of your uh, really make the most of your trip to the island. Mm hmm. Exactly. Do you have any that come off the top of the dome right now or should I start? What I want to hear what you guys start with. Well, the first one that I think, and this one is good because it's uh, good for the, the, all the family, um, is you got to go to the beach, the Brandon Beach, and you got to visit my guy Bolstrode. Because you can hang out and talk to the giant boat with a huge face, but he's also like a, a place that your kids can play around on him, you know? Yeah. Or, sorry, excuse me, excuse me, that's Tidmouth Beach. I don't want anyone to get all up in arms because I'm providing wrong information. So, sorry, Tidmouth Beach is where you'll find Bolstrode. But I think Mm. that's a good spot because, you know, he's basically a cool playground. What kid doesn't want to play inside the rotting, rusting body of a grumpy old boat, you know? Can you imagine that being there for, like, 30, 40 years, nobody's really done anything about it, he's just sitting there and it's all, like, rusted? Oh, so like kids are like getting so sick from it from all this rust that they're like you know, you know what I mean Bolstrode probably smells terrible yeah actually maybe don't bring your kid there because maybe Bolstrode might give your kid tetanus maybe never mind okay <laughs> so scratch that uh what what's a suggestion that you have maybe a little bit safer oh I mean this one isn't safer but you gave me the idea like Maybe this is a time where Bulgy's still, you know, the hen house. Mm-hmm. Maybe you go there. Maybe it's like, find an egg, you get breakfast. You no. Know? Yeah, uh, that's true. And get uh, cussed out by a double-decker bus. Hmm. You can well, look and, at the bridge and be like, that's where he was. Yeah, exactly. I was saying, that's kind of a double whammy. Because you got Bulgy himself, and you also got Bulgy's bridge right next to it. Hmm. Well, that's a good idea. I think that another place that you could go to visit that would be, uh, once again, fun for the whole family is the Sodor Scrapyard. Ooh. Because there idea. you could wa- listen to the horrifying death screams of engines as they're melted down by their fellow engines. Oh, that's that's a good idea. Like see, I said, see fun for the engines, whole family. Think of like the engines that are like next in line to be scrapped and you're just talking to them and then they disappear. Yeah, but then, you know, they just went away. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about it. They went out for cigarettes. Yeah, right, exactly, exactly. Uh, so, uh, well, we've got some great locations right now. I hope you all are taking notes and writing these down. Hmm. Maybe, maybe the next one, you know, Rolf's Castle that Roman hasn't given me back yet. Oh. You could go, <laughs> you could go to Rolf's Castle, like, probably nobody's been there, so, like, get lost there and find some stuff in there that you shouldn't find you know yeah and if you go there if you go there get maybe get percy number six some more merch of it because apparently roman decided that that's his now yeah yeah all i see is roman film this like fast layout video with will i'm like there's my ralph's castle that he that uh, yep that he didn't uh didn't ask if he could keep right Oh, nope, not at all. Hmm, interesting. Well, anyways, uh, I, and, you know, maybe, you know, we all got a Roman in our lives. And so maybe you want to take your Roman to uh, our next location, the Brindam Docks, because that provides you a very easy way to get rid of uh, the Roman in your life if he's bothering you. 
No, I think I think there's an even better spot. You know that bridge that Diesel Ten like tried to drop Mister Conductor off. The viaduct, yes, of course. Yeah, maybe that's when you go to with your Roman in your life. Yeah, and then you can do a fun game with each other of who can hold on to the bridge for the longest before they fall. Mm-hmm. You know, just like Diesel Ten yeah. did at the end of time. Oh. oh, the magic buffers, of course. That's another great location. Yeah. That's a good location because you don't know where you're gonna go. Right, exactly. You could just go with your friends, eat some celery and some carrots and stuff, and then just have a good time, you know? Uh, you know, a brain drain, bicycle, whatever, you know, Mr. Conductor was talking about and all that. Mm-hmm. Maybe, and maybe after that, you know, if you if you make it through those buffers okay, come back, go to the windmill, and then get the Roman in your life to go be like, hey, remember when Junior was up on that windmill? Well, dude, at the windmill, you gotta, you gotta stoke up the magic in the mountain, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and then the lady, lady will smile. smile. But then, and then watch the swirls that spin so well. Oh yeah, I, I think I think that'd be a good spot. Yeah, I think we have a good. I think we have a good. Oh, another place you gotta go to MC Bun. Yes, MC Bun. That, that's the, that's the hottest place in town. Oh, that no, that's a different place. That place, I don't know. That place is annoying. There's some annoying fucking engines that work there. Hmm. You know, we could always go to Misty Island. Uh, Misty Island Rescue, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Misty Island Rescue, here we go. Yeah. Uh, maybe here we not. Go. Maybe not. Don't really feel like doing that. Uh, I feel like that'd be like you know going back to the Roman in our lives. If for some reason you took a trip there, it'd be like, hey, we'll meet you there. Just never meet him. In my uh, series a long time ago when I was doing a Thomas Wooden series, oh. my idea was that I was going to introduce Mr. Island. It was going to be a prison. That was where <laughs> all the bad guys in my show were going to go, and they were all going to be locked up in a big prison there. That'd be good. Lock them up. And then, and then it would have gotten bombed. The government would have bombed Mr. Island and blown everyone up. Would have been sick, but really hard to... Really, really hard to do with Legos. Not then, like not too easy. People of Misty's Island explodes for Christmas. <laughs> Dude, well, because, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people out there know this because Legos are a very popular thing to use in the community for people, but they're not... It takes a lot of patience to work with them. Believe for sure. It. Believe it. Because, I mean, yeah, you just like... You can either do the stop motion thing, which takes a hell of a lot of work, or you could just have them, like, standing there in, like, they're just their poses, which also looks kind of fake. So, uh, I don't really know. Yeah, that, that, it's kind of like a lose-lose. Either you, you put a ton of work into it, or you don't, and yeah. At least they're better than the the wooden the wooden people. It's true. The ones that are just the blocks that just stand around. I don't know about you, but I would never use those as a kid. I did not like them. I thought that they were creepy, but I used them anyways. I just had them like standing around my layout. Hmm. Hey, well, I had the the like the the flexible ones of Sir Topham had and Lady had, so I just used that. And yeah, then we had. I, I had those too. Those were cool. I like those. Those are solid. Although my lady hat's hair is blue now. Oh, oh, well, you could just say that's her hat. Yeah, her hat. Maybe she dyed her hair, you know? Yeah, Maybe. you know, you know, the people, I don't, I feel like the hats would not approve of someone dyeing their hair. No, they definitely won. They're, they go, they're. Oh, well, well, what is this? Most unorthodox. Yep, they seem like down, they, they play by the rules, you know? Yeah, well, you know, on your visit to Sodor, you might want to stay away from... So, actually, maybe don't go to MC Bun, because, you know, the the fat controller is known to frequent that place, and you don't really want to run into him. He kind of kills the vibe. But, you know, you could also be like, if you go there, you're like, I'll have whatever he's having, because obviously it's good. <laughs> womp womp. And then uh, he'll make fun of him in front of all of his... Yeah. All of his, all of his, the people that I guess, I was gonna say his subjects, but he's not like the king. He's just he just runs the railroad. Yeah. Who like runs Sodor? It's got to be him, right? De- is so he's the controller of the railway, and also like like the mayor. 
I don't know. Probably. I'm, sure, I'm sure if Ted and Lemmy listened to this, they would be furious, like angrily typing out answers. But I'm genuinely wondering. You know, as a kid, I would always be like, oh, yeah, Sir Topham Hatt's the one in charge of the island or whatever in my series. But, like, as I grow older, he's just in charge of the railway, is he not? And I also can't be fucked to go on the Thomas Wikia and look this up. So uh, they, someone's going to have go to answer that, this. We're going to have some random stuff in there, too. Like, Sir Topham Hatt weighed blank amount of pounds in 1947. Like, something dumb like that, you know? Well, wait, well, actually, hold on. What about Sir Robert Norrenby? So I know he's the Earl, right? So, but, so what is an Earl? I know there's a TV show called My Name is Earl, but yeah. I feel like that's not, that doesn't apply to this particular situation. So what does, what is an Earl? Do you know what an Earl is? I feel like, uh, and I mean, I don't know what it is, but this is just like my, my guess. I feel like it's like a prince, but lower. I'm going to look it up right now. Okay, I just searched Earl title. Earl is a rank of nobility in Britain. The title originates in the old English word eorl. I definitely said that 100% right. <laughs> Meaning a man of noble birth or rank. Uh, meant chieftain. Like a chieftain set to rule a territory in a king's stead. So he's like the... He's like in kind of in charge sometimes. Well, I guess yep. it's... I guess it would be the queen, right? I guess, like, technically Queen Elizabeth would be in charge, because Sodor is part of Britain. That's true. So she can... I'm the queen and of I mean, England. I mean, are, what Sodor are we talking about? Are we talking about, like, a real-world Sodor, right? That that That's, like, making money, having people come right. every day to take these trains. Or are we just talking about, like, well, this is a heritage railway. Like, we know this is, like, a museum, basically, that moves... No, I'm talking like Sodor, like, you know, like it's an actual, like it's depicted in the show and in the railway series. Okay. And, oh, uh, yeah, I guess the queen, I guess the, I feel like it would be like, like Wyoming, right? You know, like, yeah, they're in charge of it, but like, who's going out to Wyoming, you know? That's true. Like, That's true. Well, do you think, hmm, do you think Sodor would have their own, they'd try to leave the UK? Do you think they'd have Sodexit? <laughs> Dex said, <laughs> I, I could see Sir Topham Hat like pulling the people, be like, all right, guys, like, I don't want the queen. We want me. Dude, if that is not in the next season of Turtles Ertles or fucking Key Craze series, I'm going to be pissed. We're generating some great ideas for you fandom content makers right here. I hope, I think this, I could see this in Key Craze series easily. And the sad oh. part is, our idea, our great, amazing ideas are never going to reach the mainstream because they're going to look at this podcast and say it's just run by two morons who never talk about Thomas the Tank Engine, which, you know, fair enough. But damn it, I still think this is a good idea. I actually, you know, talking about that, people should be happy because I don't think we've talked about Thomas this much in one episode, Bloom and West Mysteries. In quite a, yeah, in qu definitely quite a while. Well, you know, we gotta, we we can't talk about Thomas too much. You know, everybody on in the Thomas community is watching videos and it's just, oh my God, Thomas after Thomas after Thomas. It's like, don't you think you get a little tired of it sometimes? You know, don't you think you'd be more interested in talking to somebody or listening to two people talk about not Thomas? Yep, exactly. Definitely. Uh well, I, I do, mean, do you have any other ideas for if someone were to take a hypothetical vacation trip to Sodor? Let's think more broadly. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, I think you got to pay, pay at least a visit to the Caldifel Railway. At least one visit. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. You got to check out the uh, the Caldifel engines with two faces on them. Mm -hmm. See, I was thinking very similar to you, Scarlowy Railway. Like that was my first thought. Like I'd love to go there. That would be cool. You gotta go check out Smudger's resting spot, mm -hmm. or Stanley, thinking, depending on the, uh, if you're paying attention to the railway series or the TV series. I'd also like to just like I can see like Duke, you know, too old to run, but like they just have him in a corner, and you just talk to Duke all day. So old, mm -hmm. just like yeah. 
just like I feel like he's like the the old man get off my lawn type of a guy, you know? Like his throat is like so engine. parched, he just needs a little <laughs> bit of water. He can like barely speak. His voice is just a scratch and they're all just like, "Ah, he's fucking old. No one listens to him." Mhm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's Duke. Hmm. Well, mm. I think these are some I think these are some good spots. I would say the Minnesota Railway, but that's kind of I guess that's kind of folded into the Scarlowy Railway, right? Right, I think so. Yeah, um, I'm probably. sure people are gonna get mad. People are um. Actually, that's not the way that the island of Shodor is laid out. Exactly. You know, like what? Uh, we're just living our lives. You know, like yeah. I got. I don't. I care. know that. Um. Don't. I have another lore question. I guess does. Is this, this so? Is the diesel works. And the ironworks, the same thing, because it certainly seems like it, like, throughout Day of the Diesels, like, not, I mean, not that I remember Day of the Diesel super well, but it kind of feels like they're implying that, you know, they're the same location. You know, I, I think I've only watched Day of the Diesels once, and, and that's when it came out. Yeah, I don't blame oh, you, it's shit, I'm, it's not good. No, yeah, I'll, I'll be reason- honest, like, I... I I, don't, I only see him once, you know? That's the, just how life is. The only reason I was interested in Day of the Diesels is because they were, like, hinting that they were going to bring back Splatter and Dodge in it, and then they blue-balled us and instead brought in Norman, Sydney, and Paxton for no reason. Yeah, that was very underwhelming. Yeah. Especially, like, why, re- why re-release Splatter and Dodge if it's just going to be like, haha? I know, right? not that was such a That was such a tease. I feel blue-balled by that. Yeah, they really did that to us. Hey, man, Splatter and Dodge. I, I am just glad that, you know, Splatter and Dodge are getting some more love because those are some good characters for sure. Really are. Man, do you remember back in the day, like, everybody who did a series would, would make Splatter and Dodge and Dairy Burt? So, like, yeah. they'd, they'd, we would use Splatter and Dodge. The Strange Case of Splatter and Dodge. Yep. That was classic. I I remember I did, like, this is probably before I deleted my original videos. I, I did stuff with Splatter and Dodge and Aerie and Bird in the same videos. And people are like, you can't do that. They they made Splatter and Dodge and Aerie and Bird. I'm like, oh, oh I Oh, my know God, that. dude. I definitely remember that. <laughs> I definitely, definitely remember that. Like, I don't know what you people want me to tell you, but, like, it happened. <laughs> all right well who okay so let's finish off our discussion about you know uh, helping our visitors plan their or helping our viewers plan their spring break trip to the island um mm. who what are some engines that you definitely should take time out of your trip to meet and who should you stay away from oh, i think you I'll should do... s- sorry go ahead oh i was just gonna say like i gotta go with percy you know like yeah classic hmm I think that you should stay away from George the Steamroller. You should not meet George the Steamroller. Like a bad day, he might be like, he might just be like tired of talking to you and start charging you. Yeah, for real, man. That shit's scary. He's big. He's large and green and he can squish you flat. Hmm. Similarly, or similarly, whatever, I, I think Cranky would be that way too, you know? Cranky would be also be to tough because he's so tall. You would have to like yell. To even hear what he's saying. Mm-hmm. Like, the winds would be so crazy. He'd be like, what? What are you saying? I could see him, like, getting annoyed and just, like, dropping the cargo. Like, not on you, but close to you. Be like, whoops. My I feel bad. like the only, reason, the only reason it would be a good idea to go hang out with Cranky would be to work with him to pull a prank on the engines. Like, he, like you set up Salty to get, like, fruit dropped on him or something. I oh. think then that would be cool to hang out with Cranky. Yeah, Cranky would be fun doing that. Um. Uh, well, honestly, I don't think you should go visit Thomas. That might be uh, a hot take, but I feel like he's got a big ego, and I feel like he would be kind of a brat to not fun to be around. Yeah, that would be, like, the one where it's, like, he'll, like, smile for the picture, and then afterwards, like, kind of roll his eyes and be, like, next, you know? Yeah, exactly. He's got to keep his image. All right, last person you definitely should see, Harold the Helicopter. Oh, that would be fun. Harold's, Harold's, like, Harold's cool. But you should not see Tiger Moth, because he's very risky. Yep. Who knows what happens when you get into Tiger Moth. Well, I think we have compiled a pretty comprehensive spring break on the island of sodor guide for our viewers here 
Me too. And I, you know what? I think next time, once this COVID stuff's all lifted, you and I, we got to take a trip to Sodor and do a live Blue Midwest Mysteries there. I think that would be a great idea. We should get all of our all of our friends and we could get Harold the helicopter in. We could get Cranky in after helping him drop some fruit on some people. You know, I think that would mm. be a great idea. Not George, though. No George. No, not George. He would just definitely, he was like, he, I, I've heard that he hates, uh, that he hates microphones, actually. Mm. Okay. Oh, what, what, from one last source. one. Yeah, let's hear it. Diesel 10. Yes or no? Do we see him? Diesel 10, he would be like, that would be crazy because that would be like a once in a lifetime situation. I think it's fine if mm. you see him as long as he does not see you. I, I get that. You, yeah. You can, you can like stand on like a bridge with like a pair of binoculars and like look at the scrapyard super far away and see him. Because mm -hmm. I mean, that claw, I mean, who knows? You, you could be Mr. Conductor in a second. You could be Mr. Conductor, or you could go for like a really fun like roller coaster ride and that claw, but I don't think it's worth the trouble. I don't think it's I worth don't the risk. Either. I, I don't think I could put my trust into him, you know? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, thank you for watching this episode of Blue Midos Mysteries. Hopefully our tips were successful. Remember, definitely pay a visit to Bolster Road and get some eggs from under Bulgy's Bridge. But d mm. uh, don't visit the scrap, or don't visit the scrapyard, and don't, uh, don't try to talk to, to Diesel 10. Not a good idea. Oh. Oh. I right. second that. Well, with that said, everyone, I'm Mr. MPS2002. And I am Percy number six. And we hope you enjoy your spring break on the island of Sodor. This was a sponsored advertisement paid for by Sir Topham Hat. Stop in at MC Bun. <laughs> <laughs>